back to the Beach Bum Bookworm. I am Tiffany. I'm so glad y'all found me again today. My channel's all about cozy mysteries and romance books. And today I'm back with a spotlighting cozies oh, video. I'm so excited. It's been a long time. It just got so busy with other videos that I was like, you know what? I love doing the spotlights because I find a lot of new books that way. So what is this theme you ask? Anything book related. Books, editors, libraries, bookmobiles, you get the gif, gist, gif. You get the gist, anything book themed. This video will cover A and B authors, and then there's some KU authors at the bottom. Those are not in alphabetical order. So let me know if you've read any of these, if you love book themed books, what your favorite series are, anything else that you wanna talk about down in the comments is the place to do it. On your way down to comment, don't forget to stop and hit the subscription and the notification bell. The notification bell is gonna tell you when I put out new videos each and every single week so you don't miss anything. And the subscription keeps my channel growing. It's free, so it's the best bargain in town. All right, let's get started. We're looking at book themed spotlighting cozies in three, two, one, go! Before we hop into the spotlight, you know what we need to do, announcements. All right, so Monday, the uh, reading sprints, I believe, are on Lee's channel. That will be Lee at Dark Roots Creations. She is amazing. Go check her out. Go subscribe. She normally rotates with my friend Storm from Storm Reads. Both of those ladies are definitely work as they're worth a subscription to because they are amazing okay so lee's channel dark roots creation 7 p.m eastern we laugh we chat we read on wednesdays it will be my week i rotate with sarah from the bookish knitter go check her out subscribe this week 7 p.m right here on the beach bum bookworm wednesday and then on saturday we have the killing time with cozies every single saturday at noon right here on the beach bum bookworm and it is a general Saturday. I think those are the details. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Hold on. Hold the phone. Back it up. Thursday. I am so excited. I am interviewing Amanda Flower. Oh, she is one of my favorite. She is one of my favorite series of all time. Cozy Mysteries. I can't wait. This will be my second time chatting with her and I'm just so excited. That'll be Thursday, the 18th at 6.30 Eastern. So come chat with us, ask questions. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, now we're ready to get in the spotlight. Let's go. So the first one that I have is the Chocolate Cover Mystery Series. Book one is called Death is Like a Box of Chocolates. <laughs> I like that title. So it says our main character is Michelle. She is the co-owner, owner. I cannot speak today. <laughs> She is the co-owner of Chocolates and Chapters, which is a bookstore and chocolate shop. I approve. Erica Russell, her best friend, is also the co-owner. This takes place in Maryland. Oh my gosh. I so approve of a chocolate and bookshop. Mm -hmm. Three books in that series. I actually think I've read the first one in this series, but it's been a long time ago. I need to look. Sometimes I feel like I get this series mixed up with Alex Erickson. I need, I'll, I'll have to go check out my Goodreads. Not that it's always accurate, but you never know. <laughs> Next up, we have the Book Collector's Mystery Series. Book one is called The Christie Curse. This is by Victoria Abbott. There are five books in this series. It says our main character is Jordan Kelly, and they are a researcher of rare mystery books for a book collector in New York. Huh, that sounds interesting too. I don't know if I've read any books that are like book researcher characters i don't think hmm, interesting let me know if you've read that one next up is a series i'm completely caught up on and a new book just released i think it was this month this month or next month it is the book retreat mystery series book one is called murder of the mystery suite this is by ellery adams there are currently seven books out not including the brand new one that i was just referring to i believe and the main character in this is Jane Stewart. She is the manager of Storyton Hall. This takes place in Virginia. This series is kind of hard to describe. You just have to check it out because it's kind of different. Um, still fun. And what's what I really enjoy about it is the idea of Storyton Hall. I don't think it would be realistic in real life, but it's amazing to think about as book lovers. And it's like a retreat for book lovers and there's 
secret gardens and secret libraries and events and all this other stuff. It sounds incredible. Can't wait to read the next one in that series. Also by her, which I have not read, is the Secret Book and Scone Society mystery series. Book one is called The Secret Book and Scone Society. It's right there. The main character is Nora Pennington, and it says she is the owner of Miracle Books. Nora can pick books for those who are in pain to help them feel better. This takes place in Miracle Springs, North Carolina. Hmm. Sounds a little paranormal-y. I did not know that about that series. That is interesting. I think that's one of the only series I haven't tried by her. I think there's one more other than that, but all the others I've read or tried. Next up, we have Laura Alden. She writes the PTA mystery series. First book is called Murder at the PTA. It says our main character is Beth Kennedy, and she's the owner of a children's bookstore. Well, that's interesting. She's a single parent. This takes place in Wisconsin, and there are five books in that series. Interesting. All right, so the next one is also Laura Alden, wrote, written under a pen name, and I know it's not an A or B, but I still wanted to include it because this is how I found it in research and I didn't want to forget it later on. So she also writes the Bookmobile Cat series. First book is called Lending a Paw. <laughs> so that's fine. It is written as Lori Cass. There are nine books in that series, and it says our main character is Minnie Hamilton. She's a bookmobile librarian, and Eddie, her rescue cat, and this takes place in Michigan. And I have read, oh gosh, book one, I think, of this series. I read a book one in a bookmobile series that did feature a cat, but I feel like there's more than one as well. <laughs> I'll have to look. Whichever one it was, I really enjoyed. Next up, we have a series that I've read a few from. It's the Booktown Mystery Series by Lorna Barrett. First book is called Murder is Binding. I know a lot of people really enjoy this series. So Trisha is our main character. She owns Haven't Got a Clue Mystery Bookstore. The interesting thing about this series is it's a book town. It's exactly what the name of the series is. So there's a bunch of different bookstores in town, and all of them have a different genre, which I think is so cool and wish was true. I hope I, I should go and search that and see if there's anywhere like that. This takes place in New Hampshire. There are 16 books in that series. Whew, I'm definitely not caught up. I need to check out more of those. Next up, we have the Black Cat Bookshop Mystery Series. This is by Allie Brandon. First book is called Double Booked for Death. It says our main character is Darla and Hamlet. She's a bookstore owner and her cat in New York. So I'm assuming her cat is Hamlet. There are six books in that series. Black Cat Bookshop. Hmm. I haven't, let me know what you all think of that one. Next up is the one that I have read a couple from. It's the Mystery Bookshop series. This is by VM Burns. First book is called The Plot is a Murder. So our main character is Samantha Washington. She is a bookstore owner and she's a cozy mystery author. This takes place in Lake Michigan or at Lake Michigan, not in Lake Michigan. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so the main character, this one's interesting, and depending on if you like this sort of thing, so the main character is writing, she's a co cozy mystery author, as mentioned, but she is writing a historical cozy mystery as the book is actually taking place. So you're getting a dual timeline of the mystery in real life and her writing her cozy mystery. So it'll kind of flip back and forth, depending if you like that. If you like that, I think you'll really enjoy this. There are seven books in that series. Next up is By the Book Mysteries. Book one is called Buried in a Good Book. This is by Tamara Berry. There is currently one book out, but there is a second one coming out in October, which I am currently reading as an arc, and it is good you will be. If you read the first one and liked it, you're going to be so excited about this one. It's great. Next up, we have the Vintage Cookbook Mystery Series. First book is called Bayou Book Thief. This is by Ellen Byron, and it says our main character is Ricky James, a young widow recently returning to New Orleans to work in a culinary museum. There's one book currently, and I can't wait to read this one. I enjoyed her Cajun Country series. I had to think of the title. So I'm excited. I'm not even finished with the Cajun Country, but I've enjoyed what I've read. So I really want to check this one out too. And I think New Orleans is a fun place to set a book. Next up, we have the Outer Banks Bookshop Mystery. 
Book one is called Smile Beach Murder. That is currently the only book out right now. This is a brand new series that came out in May of this year. It features Callie, who is a former reporter turned book clerk, shop clerk in the Outer Banks. I want to read it just for the location alone. And then you add a bookstore and I'm sold. <laughs> Next up is the Jane Austen Society Cozy Mystery Series. First book is called Pride, Prejudice, and Poison. <laughs> this is by Elizabeth Blake. It says our main character is Aaron. Um, Aaron Coleridge, used bookstore in North Yorkshire, England, is a meeting place for the villagers and in particular for the local Jane Austen Society. This currently has two books in it. That is really interesting. I don't know if it'd be for me, but I know that there's a lot of Jane Austen fans out there that would love it. Next up, we have Brooklyn Co Murder Cozy Mystery Series. Book one is called Killer Content. This is by Olivia Black, and it says that the main character is a Bayou transplant. Her name is Odessa. She has to learn a lot to learn about life in Brooklyn. So far, she scored a rent-free apartment in one of the nicest neighborhoods around by cat sitting and has a new job working at untapped books and cafe hand selling books and craft beers oh untapped books i get it <laughs> this currently has two books in it i'm gonna have to check that out that sounds really interesting a free apartment for cat sitting smart cookie next up we have the Beach Reads Cozy Mystery Series. First book is called Little Bookshop of Murder. This is by Maggie Blackburn, and it says that our main character, Summer, owns a bookstore. The next one is a series that I enjoy. It's the Haunted Library Mystery Series. Book one is called Death Overdue. It says our main character is Carrie. She is the head of programs and events at the library in Clover Ridge, Connecticut. There is also a ghost, hence the haunted and it is a really fun series. I do wish the ghost was more prevalent because the name of the series is Haunted Library, but I actually really enjoyed this series. I didn't write down how many are in it, but I think that there's currently six out and another on the way. I'm not sure, but I am going to be interviewing um, Allison Brooke. I had to think about it because her, her other name is Marilyn, um, her other name that she writes under and I'm not I think Marilyn is actually her given name um I'm gonna be interviewing her in September but I think that there's six out I know I'm caught up all right next up I thought this was interesting I had not heard of this it's an antique bookshop cozy mystery series for the first book is called for whom the book tolls that's funny it's by Laura Gale Black and it says that it's set in North Carolina it features Jenna Quinn and she says she is fleeing some unsavory doings in her hometown of Charlotte. Jenna accepts her uncle's gracious invitation to stay with him in, him in small town hoax falling North Carolina to help run an antique bookstore. I'm actually quite interested in this. I don't know why. It just speaks to me. <laughs> All right. So now we're getting into some of the KU. Again, not in any particular order. If some of these are regularly published and I messed up, I tried to make sure doing my research, but sometimes they slip through the cracks. So the first one is the Garden Cove Library Cozy Mystery Series. The first book is called Digging a Murder. This is by Penny Brooke. Next up is the Secret Library Cozy Mystery Series. I am there for this. Book one is called Tales Secret Book Club, right there. This is by C.C. James, and I'm really looking forward to checking that out. I don't know if there's only one book currently out, if it's a brand new, what's going on with it, but I am interested. Next up is one that I really enjoy. I've read the first two in. I enjoyed them both quite a bit. I think I gave them both five stars, actually. It's the Beachfront Bakery Cozy Mystery Series. Book one is called Killer Cupcake, a killer cupcake right here. This is by Fiona Grace. So our main character, she, the story starts out and we're seeing her life kind of spiral out of control with, with her relationship and her job and kind of, you know, and so she's kind of got to figure out what she's going to do next. And she buys a beachfront bakery and I love it because the beachfront bakery reminds me of like a boardwalk kind of atmosphere and I am always, always there for that. If anybody knows of anything, any series like that, 
that I haven't spoke about, please let me know because I am definitely interested. Thank you in advance. The next and the last, but don't worry, there is more coming your way very soon, is the Broomsticks and Books Cozy Mystery Series. Book one is called I Dream of Witches. <laughs> this is by Sarah McCoy's. I like that title. Let me know which of these that you're excited about, if you've read any of them, any other books that you can think of that I missed with authors that start with A and B, and give me a big thumbs up for this video, and until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye, everybody! <laughs>